regarding the uh, play for pay allegations in the latest book, emails back in 2012? You know, those, those issues um, are, in my view, distractions from what, is this, what this campaign should be about, what I'm going to make this campaign about. Um, and I'll let other people decide what they want to talk about. I'm going to talk about what's happening in the lives of the people of New Hampshire and across America. All right, there she is, ladies and gentlemen, and here he is back. Once again, we're glad to have him, as always, the former Assistant Attorney General of the United States who served in the Clinton administration and uh, former Hillary Clinton law partner, author of a great new book, Ginger Snaps. There it is on your screen, Webb Hubble. Hello, sir. Hello, Steve. How are you? Good. Good to talk to you again. All right, l l let me ask you. Um, it, it, you wouldn't know it if you put on CNN, uh, but uh, today the New York Times had a story uh, talking about a company known as Uranium One. Um, <laughs> when Hillary was Secretary of State, the State Department had a sign off on this, uh, these Canadian um, uh, mining uh, uh, industry owners who were big contributors to the Clinton uh, Foundation who uh, were selling to a Russian company, and because uranium is, falls under the purview of a, a natural resource or whatever, the State Department had to sign off on it. So they're giving the Clintons money, and guess what? This goes before Hillary Clinton. Do, do, doesn't that appearance, and this isn't unique, this is just one of a list. Webb, doesn't this appearance, isn't it unseemly? Isn't it disgusting? that she could be Secretary of State and getting her foundations getting money from the people that she is dealing with and, and has to approve deals or not approve deals? Well, first of all, these are allegations based on a book nobody's read about, read yet. At least I haven't, and I don't think you have, Steve. I don't know. if well, I'm reading for the New York Times story today. I don't know if they got uh, it from the it, book or it, not. I, I, I don't know where the New York Times got it either. But again, there are allegations. There's a lot uh, to be found out. Uh, I don't think that any person running for president is not going to have every bit of their financial uh, background looked into. Hillary's just the first. Uh, so, uh, but I wouldn't presume uh, that there's something unseemly or untoward. I know the Clintons pretty well, and I don't think they care who gave to the foundation when it comes to their official actions. All right, but but if we see in the book, and I, a quid, as you know, as as a as a former attorney, assistant attorney general of the United States, a quid pro quo is hard to prove. Yet, of course, we had you know Menendez indicted on that accusation. Yeah. Uh, we had Senator Stevens, the late Senator Stevens, uh, indicted. Uh, his uh, conviction was overturned uh, on that kind of charge as well. So, you know, you could you could find politicians and, and indict probably whoever you want on that kind of thing. My question is. Secretary of State, you know, uh, with a co corporation or a foundation taking contributions from foreign countries. Presidential candidate with a foundation taking contributions from foreign countries. And we can't even go back and look at all the emails unless she wants us to because she erased what she didn't want us to see, claiming there's nothing here. I mean, if this was anybody else, if this was a Republican, my God, there's no shot in heck that they could run for president. Well, I, th I think, again, you're presuming things that aren't there yet. And I think you also uh, have to realize that everybody who runs for public office has, they're all going to try to raise a billion dollars. And I, I think everyone would agree that everybody who gives somebody, gives something to a campaign, they ought to be public. I, I think we all agree that we need a little more transparency in who gives what. But let's just not isolate it to Hillary. All right. Well, again, I, it, it's just that, uh, you know, they, they tried to uh, rip apart Mitt Romney, you know, for being a, the owner of a corporation or a hedge book, uh, a, 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 a corporation that comes in, takes over companies. I'm, I'm forgetting the word in my head. And, uh, you know, has to fire people as a result. They've already tried to attack Carly Fiorina. Oh, when she ran Hewlett Packard, how many people did she fire? I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's one thing. That's what business people do. But again, I'll just ask you one more time. I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not saying there was quid, quid pro quos. In fact, my point is they're hard to prove, is what I was trying to say to you. So I'm sorry if I misrepresented it a little bit. But, yeah. but, but, but doesn't the appear? Doesn't if you're Secretary of State, look, if you're President, you don't get to buy and sell stocks and stuff, and you put your stuff in a trust and it's, it's handled for you. Should a Secretary of State or a presidential candidate be actively taking contributions? to a foundation they're running with their husband and daughter 
for, for, from foreign countries? Again, you're presuming. But they that are. That but that, but they were taking contributions from foreign you're countries. You're presuming that Hillary had any idea who was giving to to the foundation. That's just not been proven. And when you say there are emails, she turned over all of her State Department emails. So if there's anything to do with uh, with Russian nuclear uh, uranium or anything like that. It's in the email she's turned over. Well, you don't know. No, Webb, you're making an assumption now. You don't know that. She might have just said, I'm not handing that one over. I'll call it personal and didn't well, hand it over. I don't think she would do something like that. And I don't think the people around her would either. I All mean, right. I know these people pretty well. And you're not going to find anything. We spent $77 million trying to prove there was something wrong with a, a, you know, a small land deal in Arkansas. Well, there was something wrong with the deal. They just couldn't pin anything on the Clintons. They spent seventy-seven million dollars. I understand, and I don't. And and, could and, find a thing the Clintons did wrong. All right, hey, let's not go down that road again. Okay. All right, Webb. Fair enough. I always value your opinion. That's why we have you on, sir. We'll have you back, and folks, get his book, Ginger Snaps. Uh, it's a follow-up to his previous one, and you'll love it. Thank you, Webb. Thank you, Steve. Take care. Andy McCarthy next in studio. Don't go away. But first. You know, we're bringing back our viewer call-in segment here on the Steve Molesberg Show. So if you want to weigh in, do you think uh, there's anything wrong with what Hillary's done or might have done or is doing or might be doing? We want to hear from you, but you need to reach out to us in advance. So that's what we're trying to tell you how you could do it right now. You email us at callsteve at newsmax.com. There it is on the screen if you can't hear me. Callsteve at newsmax.com. Include your phone number, how we could reach you and what you think you might want to talk about. And we will get back to you because we want to hear from you. We're coming back with Andy McCarthy.